What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. The long-awaited Downton Abbey film got released and fans of the period drama saw plenty of differences in characters when you compare them to the book the film was based on. Here we outline those differences. Enjoy the video, guys! The Dowager Countess Downton Abbey is definitely an enjoyable show, and we endure the period drama because of millions of reasons. But what people really love is the characters. From the very direct Dowager Countess, portrayed by the amazingly talented Dame Maggie Smith, to the stubborn Lady Mary, a character that is portrayed by Michelle Dockery, and of course, the pure soul Anna, portrayed by Joan Froggatt. After six seasons of simple yet complicated period drama, we were all devastated because the show had to come to its end. But then, a Downton Abbey film was released. And if that wasn't exciting enough, a sequel is now under production. Having watched the Downton Abbey movie, which is written by the man behind the hit ITV show, Julian Fellows, and having read the book, the show, and the film was based on, which is To Marry an English Lord, written by Carol McDee, Wallace and Gail McCall, way back in 1989, we've noticed some differences in the way the film presents the characters. All of them. Well, let's start with the Dowager Countess. In the film and the show, she is portrayed with the amazing Maggie Smith. As you all remember, the first film ended with her suggesting she might lose her life, but that seems to be out of the image now, and Smith is expected to reprise her role in the second film. However, in the book, the character is actually presented completely the same when it comes to her looks, but that is not the case with the other characters. Keep watching so you can learn about the major differences. Lady Mary Michelle Dockery starts as Lady Mary in both the film and the show. In the first film, she was the one in charge of preparations for the movie's central royal visit. You know, the arrival of the king and the queen. Nevertheless, Lady Mary is a loved character in both, the film and the book, but her looks are much different in the book, despite her character being based on the one in the book. In the film, we see Lady Mary Crawley as a snarky character who deserves a lot of attention. Michelle Dockery is definitely one of the most beautiful and talented actresses that is literally perfect for the role. Mary is everything a person wants from the lady of the house. The difference between her character in the film and the book is that she's presented to be way too beautiful in the film, which is not the case with the character in the book. But the way she dresses is pretty similar as she practically wears the most beautiful dress in both the book and film adaptation. Edith For lovers of the long-spanning series, amazing soundtrack, and of course, the beautiful scenes of the High Clear Castle and its grounds, we know how difficult it is to wait for the second film to be released, but we're here to give you some good news. Most of the actors previously involved in the film will come back to reprise their roles in the very anticipated sequel. That includes Lily James, Lady Rose, who previously said there wasn't enough story for her character to appear again, and Samantha Bond, Lady Rosamund, Sibon Finneran, O'Brien, and Ed Spieler's Jimmy. Now, Edith is the second daughter of Robert and Cora Crowley, and she is the sister of Lady Mary Talbot and the late Lady Sybil Branson. When it comes to her character in the book, she is presented almost the same but with some minor differences. For instance, in the book, she's not so classy and elegant. Instead, she's lacking in good taste and sense. But I will say this. It's getting harder and harder to say no. Mr. Carson Eager fans of Downton Abbey know that the show and the film are, as we previously said, based on a book. The British drama first aired in the U.S. in 2011, and it's really surprising to know that the Emmy-winning show was inspired by a book published in 1989. To Marry an English Lord by Gail McCall and Carol Wallace follows the time period when American heiresses would go to Britain and swap money for names, the same case as the character Cora Crawley and Downton Abbey. Now, we're all familiar with what kind of a person Mr. Carson is in the film. He is portrayed by Jim Carter, and Carter is doing an amazing job portraying the famous character. Mr. Carson is a man who puts a lot of involvement in his job. He is also known as a very strict person at Downton, and he sets pretty high standards for his co-workers' duties. However, he really respects the Crawley family and others that live upstairs. Now, when it comes to his character in the book, he's presented, um in a more sinister picture. But except for his evil side taking a bigger step in the book, he's practically the same when it comes to other features. Mrs. Hughes There's never a dull moment. 
Lady Crawley said these words, and we feel like we must live by them. Downton Abbey 2 is officially in the works, and the film is coming in 2022. Now, when it comes to Mrs. Hughes, a character portrayed by Phyllis Logan, she's the head housekeeper, and she is in charge of all the female servants. She practically runs the entire servant branch of Downton Abbey alongside Thomas Barrow, after he replaced her husband, Charles Carson, as a butler. In the book, she is presented as this elderly woman who looks really kind, doesn't want to be two-sided, and does not want to deal with two-sided people. This is also the case with her character in the film. The sequel of the film, as we previously said, under production and is set to be released on March 18th, 2022. We can't wait to see Maggie Smith, Imelda Staunton, Michelle Dockery, and Hugh Bonville all coming back to reprise their roles. Mr. Bates John Bates is a character played by Brendan Coyle, and he's Robert Crawley's valet. At first, he was treated pretty badly because he uses a cane as he was wounded in the Boer War. And more than once, Thomas Barrow and Sarah O'Brien tried to get rid of him, but he somehow managed to earn the respect of many of the other staff members, such as Anna Smith and Mr. Carson. In the book, this character has the same body type and looks, and when it comes to his personality, has clear morals and great worth ethic, both in the film and the book. Anna Anna is one of the most beautiful female servants in both the film and the book. Her beautiful blonde hair, pale skin, and breathtaking blue eyes are well presented in the book. She is petite, slim, and of average height. Because she is a servant, she is mostly seen in her black lady's maid's dress. I'll tell you what you're doing, my lady. You're making a center for the people who work here, for this village, for the county. Mrs. Patmore and Daisy. Do you guys remember how these two characters ended up in the show? Well, we'll remind you. As you know, Daisy had an amazing transformation. She turned from an unschooled kitchen maid to a really good and smart assistant cook. The last season of the show brought her some struggles, and she was nearly fired. But in the end, everything turned out to be fine, and the series ends with Daisy meeting a nice guy and choosing to move to a farm with him. Daisy's character is somehow underdeveloped in the book. She's way more beautiful in the film and the show, which is not the case with her character in the book. And Mrs. Patmore, Daisy's boss in the kitchen, also goes through a lot during the sixth season of the show, but she also gets her happily ever after at the end. Her character is the same when compared to the one in the book. Thomas Thomas Barrow is the one who succeeded Charles Carson at becoming a butler down to Abbey. He previously worked there as a junior foreman, but first footman, head valet, and under butler. Thomas is also the same in the book and the film as he keeps that classy look in both. Who's your favorite Downton Abbey character? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.